So in this video, I'm explaining the hexagonal problem. So go for the problem. Draw the top and front view of the hexagonal lamina of 30 mm sides, having two of its edges parallel to both the vertical and horizontal plane. And one of its edges is 10 mm from each of the plane of projections. Draw the lamina of the incline at an angle of 60 degree to HP. So here hexagonal lamina side 30 is given, okay? So with respect to HP, angle 60 degrees given. With respect to VP, angle is not given, but the condition is given. What is that condition? Two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal planes, okay? So HP angle is given means, so you have to consider this is resting in HP, okay? So go for polygon, number of sides six, okay? So according to the question, Resting on HP. So with respect to edge or corner, you have to decide. Okay, two of its edges parallel to both vertical and horizontal plane. Okay, so that is the final position. So parallel, two edges is parallel means usually you have to make it perpendicular. Perpendicular means, so with respect to edge. Okay, so draw the hexagon with respect to edge. So what is this side? So vertical dimension, you have to take it 30, okay? So one edge is above the XY line will be 10 mm. You can look at the equation here. One of its edges is 10 mm from each plane. From each plane, 10 mm, you have to take it, okay? So how to take 10 mm from each plane? From VP and HP means you have to go for offset command, okay? So first you can give the distance 10, here, enter and select the XY line and tick mark. Last, upwards. First, you can give the upwards, right? So it shows the 10 mm here. I'm selecting change the thickness 0.13 and dimension will be moving right side. Okay. Then go for the, this is the top view of the hexagon. You can move for the naming. This is A, B, C, D. E and finally F. Okay, so go for line command and draw the front view by using the projections to the offset line you are taking the 10 mm. Okay, so this is the projection of B and A. So this is A dash inside the bracket and B dash outside the bracket. This is the projection of C and F, C dash and F dash. Okay. And this one is the D dash and E dash. Inside the bracket will be E dash. So go for line command and write the front view. It's a line. Start from here, midpoint to midpoint, and end or end point to end point. So check the dimension. This one both should be equal 25.98 and 25.98. Both are equal. Okay. So next angle is given is 60 with respect to HP. So select in the, not in the XY line in this problem, it is from the above the plane, HP plane, 10 mm, okay? So distance is 25.98, enter angle 60. Again, 25.98, enter angle 60, okay? So now you can check the dimension this one, 25.98, 25.98, and angle is the 60. 60 with respect to x y. Okay. Okay. Go for the position after inclined to 60 degree. Okay. End point, end point, end point, end point. So carefully you have to go for the end point symbol. You have to select it and go for the projection. Okay. Select on the line and go for the yes. So naming is important. You know this one, this is the naming of A dash and B dash. Okay, so the bracket A dash, B dash. Okay, so this one is C dash, so the bracket F dash, and this is will be D dash, so the bracket B dash. Okay, so you don't want to merge this one, means you can move it to the next point. This is the point of A, C, and D. Correct. Okay. So now 
You can go for this one. Yes. So projection 23. First go for the projection of A to the first line, B to the second line, sorry, first line, A, B, C to the second line. Okay. And D, you can extend it to the third line. Okay. Again, E also third line and F to the second line. This is the position of F, second line. Okay. So I'll trim the extra lines here. Okay. Extra lines. Right. So here you can look at this one. You can draw the hexagon after inclined to 60 degree. So start from A to the B to the C. D, E, F, and A. Okay. We go for naming also. A, B, C, B, E, and F. Okay. So here, after inclination 60 degrees is over, then you have to go for the question again. So two of H is parallel to both BP and HP. You can look at this one. Reference edges is AB. So both are parallel, A, B and E, D, both are parallel. If you incline with respect to B, P, make it parallel, okay? So how to make it parallel and also another condition is there. What is it? One of his edges 10 mm from each profile plane, okay? Again, you have to do for H, P, 10 mm you have taken, for V, P, you have to 10 mm below you have to take it, okay? Again, go for offset and select the X, Y line, give the distance, 10 here and tick mark, okay? It will come downwards. Right? So if you want, you can trim the line. No problem, you can trim it. Okay. So 10 mm, you can show here. Okay, 10 mm distance you have taken. Right? Then select the hexagon. Okay. And move command. Use the move command. So go for select the A and paste it here. Right? So copy, switch on the copy and paste it here. Right? And go for rotate option directly. Okay, switch off the copy, select A and B. Okay, so incline to parallel line. Got it? So now we can observe two edges. What is the condition is given? One of its edges, 10 mm from each profile plane is over. Two edges parallel to both HP and VP. Okay, you can see what are the two edges here? You can observe this one. What is the two edges? Okay, AB and ED. Both are parallel for HP also, VP also. So after incline this one, after incline this one, what is the front view? Okay. So you can go for the front view, right? So projection of front view of the final diagram. So you have to project it this one, point C and B here. Okay. Projection of AB, XY line, CF, second line, D and E, third line. So projection of A to the XY line, projection of B to the XY line, projection of C to the second line, projection of D to the third line, projection of E to the third line, projection of F to the second line. Go for naming. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F. Okay. Then use the lamina. Write the final diagram. Okay. Start from A. Joining this one. Point five thickness. A to B. B to C. C to D. D to E. And E to F. And F to A. Okay. So this completes the problem. 